What is up everybody, this is Always back with the next video of uh, unit testing in Java application using JUnit. So in the last video I've shown you how to run your tests using NetBeans. In this video we are going to look at Eclipse, how to run tests in Eclipse. So for that I'm going to create a new project. Let's create a Java project. I'm going to name it Unit Testing. Let's click on Finish. Now we have the project. I'm going to create a new class. Let's create a new class and then here we type, type uh, test and uh, I'm going to test a unit okay now let's click on finish and we have the class here and we need to write a method here what we will test in our test class so I'm going to write a very simple method so you guys understand as I did in NetMeans video so let's just say int is a return type and we can just simply add numbers very simple method just add two numbers and return the result right so int a int b and then here we can return a plus b okay so this is the method and now we need to create a test class now the actual part of this tutorial starts right so in eclipse if you want to create a test class you can right click on the class go to new and here we have option JUnit test case. Let's click on that and you get this dialog box. Here you can see on the top if you want to use the old JUnit 3 test system, but I will use the latest one, JUnit 4, JUnit 4. So let's select that. Now we have the package. If you have any test package here, like what I do with, with the, the proper application when I develop, I make a different directory or package and I all I put all my tests into that directory so make sure you do that as well if you are working on actual project so the name of the class is test unit test so the naming convention which is uh, <clears throat> given by Eclipse uh, by default is the class name and it adds a test word at the last and then we don't need to create setup before and tear downs all this so just click on finish and now in the next dialog box basically it's telling you that JUnit is not in a build path so you want to add it you can simply click OK to add that and now we have the JUnit library into our build path as you can see here we have two files JUnit.jar and Hankress core the jar file right okay so let's try this method now this is a class has been created by Eclipse for us to test that method I'm going to delete this uh, fail which means that it will fail the method no matter what happens so I'm just gonna get rid of it now we can create an object for that class test unit name it test is equal to oops should have named it test is equal to new test unit okay so we created an object now let's use that I'm going to create a new variable which will hold the result value coming from that class method so let's just name it result is equal to let's use an object and call the method add numbers what we just created in test unit class this is the method we're calling let's go back and then here we need to pass in two integers because the data type in that method is an integer we can't pass string or we can't pass double float or any other data type so let's go back here and then we will see I want to add two integers so I'll say three and we'll say five and now you guys understand the answer would be eight right but we want to check whether the method is actually giving us the right result or not all right so we got the variable done we're getting the value and now we can test that result variable what the value we got in that variable so here we can use assert and the method we're going to use is going to be equals okay and then press enter and first value is going to be expected value okay and then the second value is going to be whatever we're getting the actual value so it will uh, check both values which are which matches or not all right that means as that's why we're using assert equal so what is the expected value we are expecting six let's say i know we're not expecting six but let's say six and then actual value is in the result variable we just created so let's type result all right and now in eclipse if you want to run the test you can right click in your test class 
and go to run as J unit test. Okay, so the shortcut key for that is Alt Shift X. Okay, and let's click on that, and there you go. We got an error. So the test run, but it failed, and uh, we got the results here, which is telling you that the assertion error it was expected six, but the actual result we got is eight, as you can see here, right? So that means uh, it's it shouldn't it shouldn't should have should have not passed because the value is not as expected. So we're getting the wrong value. So let's just change that to eight. And now let's just run it again. J unit, oops, test, and this time it should pass. All right, congratulations. So we passed the test. So this is how you can use the unit testing in Eclipse using J unit. Very simple. Just create a new class and just uh, run the assert method. But make sure you got the variable which holds the actual value. So that's it for this video guys and uh, thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions let me know in the comments below and in the next video I will show you how to do unit testing in IntelliJ IDEA.